Okay, and that should be starting streaming. Awesome. So we should now be live. And that is Mars live. And I've got it right this time. You're going to actually see the volcanoes on Mars. And what's more, I've got the cursor so I can actually point it out to you where exactly um, the volcanoes are on Mars. This, by the way, is one of the most spectacular views you're ever going to get on Mars, ever. Um, seriously, <laughs> this is actually pretty decent conditions. Um, and let's see if we can do this. So we should now have the cursor on here. And just going off here, off to the uh, right hand side is the valley of the the, the, the mariners, mariners, valleys, minar, mariners, whatever, named after the mariner probe. And just there, I'm going to centre it up a bit actually, uh, we actually have Olympus Mons. That's him. You'll see it occasionally. There's this little ring-shaped thing just about there. Uh, looks like a crater. Oh, it's, oh, the atmosphere takes the worst possible time to start to destabilize. Okay, let's try for a bit of focus. Let's be focused. There he is. Perfect. There he is. You see him easily, easily. Little ring shape thing just about there, just above my cursor. So my cursor's right in the middle of it now. That's it. That's Olympus Mons. That's that biggest volcano in the solar system, twice as high as Mount Everest. And the scene tonight has been spectacular. It's uh, 3:30 in the morning. I've been doing this. Um, oh, since Mars rose, which is about nine o'clock, so I've been doing this for about six hours already. Um, had some friends over, otherwise, I'd have probably streamed a bit more of it. Although, it's one of those things that, um, uh, a lot of the time you can't, um, yeah, it's it, you just get tired after a while and you just want to, uh, yeah, record your little bit of video and where are we at? Uh, we got five minutes before we got to record some more video. And this is actually, yeah, the thing's sort of going to pants, but you can still see him in the quiet moments. He's just just there. Okay, let's see what the chat's been saying. Uh, Orange Volcano bad. <laughs> it's been a while. I think this is a long, long, long extinct volcano. See, Mars is small relative to Earth, um, so it's cooled down a lot. And, um, yeah, so Mars is basically a, it's a dead rock. You can't see shit. It says, okay. Are you blind? Are you blind? Uh, marry me, Thunderfoot. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I've been told if you go to Mars, there's no coronavirus on Mars. It's the, the, the one way you can be guaranteed of... Uh, um, of... Uh, Getting, getting rid of the coronavirus other than the nuclear explosion that that I've also been told is guaranteed to uh, make sure you never die of coronavirus oh come on stabilize there we go yeah so that's the south pole on Mars you're looking at there the little guy on the bottom and I had spectacular views of it earlier actually the 
the Valley of the Mariners when it was yeah so I've watched the Valley Valleys Minares come Marinares or whatever he's called pronunciation is going to suck here um, but I've watched him go all the way across the planet I mean even this which is not the best scene that I've had tonight is still pretty decent yeah I mean that's 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 the volcano and he'll be heading over um, what are we at we're probably an hour and a half to sunrise by which time the volcano will be over here somewhere as you see I had Celestia up let's see if we can add this to OBS I did have Celestia up Okay, let's see if we can get Celestia. Boom. Okay, that's awesome. Unfortunately, he's at the wrong end. He needs to be up at the top. There we go. So, that's what Celestia says we should be seeing at the moment. It's not quite... Um, Oh, hang on, you won't be able to see until I get my cursor over Celestia. Yeah, there we go. So, there's the volcano that we're looking at. This is the Valley of the Mariners, which is just going off to the side. You've got three little volcanoes here, which you'll probably be able to see once I process the image a bit. And on this image, yeah, yeah, I can, yeah, you just about see the volcano there, and that's that's the biggest canyon in the solar system, just there. Right, so that's all I really had to show. Uh, if you want, I can leave it sort of ticking over, but. Um, yeah, you, you can watch Mars rotate over. Oh, son of a bitch. There we go. Um, some more video this is the first time in the night actually that the the atmosphere started to shimmer like this well other than very early on when it was settling down okay I've got to be perfectly still for the next 28 seconds no shaking yeah that Olympus Mons is truly frightening in size. It's about the size of France and twice as high as Mount Everest. Yeah, this is a... Okay, there's our 30 seconds. Good. Right. Um... So I, I, I hate to be a terrible host, but uh, it's 3.30 in the morning. I'm not feeling very chatty. There we go. No, oh, nice focus there. Oh, what the hell's happening to the seeing? I think it's going over a chimney, but it's uh, it's high in the sky, so it's not so bad. It might well improve. I think this is a really local phenomena. It's a train going by in the background. Oh yeah, Olympus Mons is much higher, um, even than the Hawaiian volcanoes. Um, yeah, I mean the Hawaiian volcanoes, I think are. Everest is what? Eight K 
kilometers from bottom to the top or something. I think the Hawaiian volcanoes are maybe 10, 12 or something. Olympus Mons is it's like 20 or 30 or something. It's a ludicrously big. So he's got a two times Barlow. What if you detonated all of mankind's nukes in Olympus Mons? So very little. So it turns out nukes are very good for um, killing soft, squidgy things like people and blowing over little things like buildings. Um, but when it comes to sort of blowing up mountains, they're almost pointless. They just they can't do that much. I mean, you take a look at the biggest craters you get off your biggest nukes. They're not that big. Uh, not when you can compare them to the size of mountains or something. There you go. That's dirt on the sensor there. Oh, I should clean my sensor. I cleaned it a few days ago. Uh, it needs dirt again by the looks of things. What about nuking hurricanes? <laughs> it's, a, it's a great idea. Um, I, I fully endorse nuking hurricanes. I'm, I'm sure it'll have a huge edge. No, nuking hurricanes is such a waste of time. Um, the energy in a hurricane dwarfs the energy in a nuke. Absolutely dwarfs it. And you only have to sort of get a rough idea of you know the devastation a single hurricane can cause. Yes, nuke a hurricane, and you'll end up with a hurricane that's radioactive. Can we still see Olympus Mons? I'm not so sure I can at the moment. I think the thing's deteriorated. He's right in the middle. I know that's where he is, but I can't see him. Uh, just a little there. Yeah, now I can. There's a slightly orange ring. Just there. Let me just check that we're actually... Yeah. Yeah, it's just there. It's a little orange ring thing. Cool. It's a cosy place, is the solar system. Anyway, guys, uh, that's really all I wanted to show you. I can leave it running, but uh, what magnification is this? This is ludicrous magnification. Um, like, oh, this is probably something like 300 times or 400 times or something stupid. Plus, it's um, then put onto a screen and blown up even further. Uh, now, all the marshmallow volcanoes have been dead for millions of years. Um, yeah, uh, tectonic activity on Mars died off very quickly because the planet cooled down so quickly that the, the crust thickened up and that was the end of tectonic activity. Oh, they've been extinct for billions of years, not just millions. That I believe. Okay, guys, I'm going to call it quits uh, this because... Um, yeah, <laughs> uh, three in the morning, and I'm uh, I can do many things at three, well, almost four in the morning. And chitty chatty isn't one of them. So um, I hope you enjoyed looking at Mars. I hope you enjoyed seeing the uh, Olympus Mons, and uh, see you next time. Ciao.